You're about to make a terrible decision. Drop a thumbs up. And let's get into it. Alrighty, man. Nukes top, top five. five goes. Call on camera. Randonautica revisited. You might recognize TikTok user Matt Hall from a previous video I did about Randonautica. So I saw this thing that a lot of people were doing on TikTok called Randonauting. It's an app that you download and it gives you a completely random location close to you that you go to and apparently it's supposed to be a glitch in the simulation or something like that. For real? Okay, dude, dude, dude. I got an electric scooter, I might do that as well. Might not be a good idea. What? Yo, might not be a good idea though. Holy sh What? Is there anybody here? No way, dude. Wanna play a game? What? You, what if you would never go in the forest at night like that? Yes, I think I just heard something. Now, since his terrifying encounter in the woods, Matt Hall claims that he has had a new and even more horrifying encounter at his job. Matt says that late one night, when he was working the overnight shift, a security camera at his work started beeping. Now, the security camera has motion sensors and only starts beeping when someone or something disrupts the sensor. Naturally, Matt immediately went to check the camera. He was chilled to the core when he saw this. Damn. There's literally somebody outside like dragging a bag at my work. Bro, no, call I'm sorry, the cops. I'm just recording in case something happens. Dog, call the cops just to make sure. I, I, I can't see. I can't see his face. Bro, he he's ran. He's literally running down to the door. He's coming up to the door right now. Yo, call the cops, dude. Ah! Oh my ah! fucking god, he's he's outside the door. Bro, he's call the cops. Outside the door right now. No, Yo, there's I nowhere to hide in here. I'm literally. It's just this one room. The door, yeah, the door is locked, but... He busted, though, he tried! Oh, my f oh, he ran away? He's, like, behind the building now. I don't... I don't... Do you, do you feel like he's just... Oh, my God! Oh my, do you feel like that he's shaking it um, on purpose, or what? Can you just get here, please, really? Matt frantically calls 911 to summon the police. While on the phone with the emergency operator, the outdoor CCTV camera records a man dragging what looks like a trash bag right in front of the building's exit. Matt yes, says Kate, that the I police will, came and searched the area surrounding the building, but they couldn't find anyone. Even more baffling, the garbage bag the man was carrying was simply stuffed full of old clothes. Damn. So was this encounter somehow connected to Matt's previous randonauting experience? Was yo, it? honestly, I was expecting like a body. That's why I was like, yo, bro, call it. The way he was moving, that was just bad, you Even know? real? Or was it just a TikTok hoax? That was just bad. Yo, but see, it was you not decide. Me. You join a little bit, Reddit man. user Overhype13 claims that he and his friends were randonauting when they were led to the middle of nowhere, a seldomly traveled walking path in the woods in Germany. They had pretty much given up finding anything when they suddenly spotted a mysterious flower and a plaque on a tree. Okay, also, warte, warte, warte. Wir haben eine neue Intention gesucht. Also wir haben eigentlich ohne Intention gesucht. Ja. Er hat oh, den ja, Wald ja, 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 ey. So ein Wald. I'm joking. Ja, warte. Ja, wer ist das? Der Radio. Wir sind halt direkt da. Uh, we are uh, right, okay, yes, the point is ja, here. Wir sind auf jeden yes, Fall we are in the area. And now we've searched the area, we have the small road. We've searched this area and there was just nothing here. Until we saw a flower. What? Ich film das mal. So we have a signpost. Hier ist halt so ein Schild. Tilo, guter Freund, Ruhe und Frieden. Das haben wir erst gar nicht gesehen. Aber jetzt achte aufs Datum. 24.07. Welches Datum haben wir heute? Sag's mal. Wir haben einfach den fucking 24. Junge, Mann. Vor zwei Jahren. Wir haben, das war genau, vor genau zwei Jahren. Wir haben das fucking gleiche Datum. Ey, exactly. Uh, uh, hey, this cannot be a coincidence. Sein. Guys. Als ob das genau vor zwei Jahren It's as if that happened exactly like two years ago, as if someone died here exactly two years ago, shit. Reddit user Overhype13 says that after he did some extensive Google searching to find the man named Tilo, who passed away exactly two years ago on the exact spot where Randonautica sent them, he wasn't able to find anything. Overhype13 believes that there is no way the Randonautica app could have known about the memorial sign that shared the same date as their exploration. This mysterious incident remains unexplained. 
TikTok user Tyler Vasquez says that after watching many strange videos about the Randonautica app, she simply had to try it out for herself. The app gives her a location about a mile and a half from her home, so she travels there and documents her experience. The location she has led to is a secluded creek. Yo, I might actually download Randall Nautica. Yeah, I might download and let's see, okay? I, I don't know, man. It might be a bad idea. It might be a bad Surrounded idea. by woods. What happens next is downright chilling. Right, yeah, it might so be I bad idea. This way down a creek. Uh oh! Uh oh! All right, that's what I found so far. Pretty creepy. I'll go see what that is. Okay, so I just opened up one, one of the One is download, two is no download. Whatever the f that is. Then we have these random three. This one's like it's your birthday with the snowman with... I don't know. And these two I just put together. It's like, play with me. Oh, uh, oh, oh, snap. All right, I think it was just my imagination. I think I'm just hearing but I'm trying to read these. I swear I'm friendly. With me. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. Taylor finds creepy drawings scattered all around the rocks that look like they've Was been there a person standing there? drawn by a child. Then she hears the unexplained voice of a little girl and just runs. I felt like there was when a Taylor person. Taylor Vasquez posted her video to TikTok. Her viewers suggested that the creepy little voice actually says, You hide and I'll find you. Play with me. <gasps> Play with me. <gasps> After many requests by her viewers, Taylor returns to the creek three days later to find out more about the strange drawings. So I just hiked the mile back to the randonauting spot. Brought a flashlight as a weapon this time. As oh, you can see, there's what? no one around me. I'm trying to go quick so that I don't waste too much time. These drawings are creepy as f I feel like I should just grab them all really quick. If they have messages on them, because then, like, those look like symbols. Yo, you're still hearing that sound in the background. Um, yeah, it could be faked out. She could have put that in it while editing, but I'm if real, so that maybe it's gonna help me figure out what they mean. Maybe there's a meaning to them. I'm too scared to say that word. I'm so fucking no good. I'm taking that too. Right, so I grabbed everything. I don't really see anything else. So like, I think the it's voice a, you're going is to die? there again, but it's now quieter, and Taylor doesn't really hear it at first. The soft little voice seems to say, "You're not my family. You're, not you're my gonna family. die if you don't go." They have messages on them, because then, like those look like symbols. Taylor collects many more strange drawings that are scattered around the area, but then the voice gets louder and says, "I don't really see anything else." So like, what up, Jessica? Later, she posts her video, and when she reads the viewer comments, she makes another shocking discovery. Okay, so I don't have a lot of time right now, but I saw this comment and I'm kind of hyperventilating, freaking out. This girl posted that she saw a f***ing child in my video. Bruh. Now, I, I felt like that I saw some figure as well, though, but it was, uh, damn, though. No one was with me, and tell me if you guys think that looks like a ghost child, because I don't f***ing know. But I didn't know if she photoshopped it or not, so I went to my videos and I screenshotted the exact part that she shows right there. And I see the face too, uh -oh. and so now I'm actually freaking the f*** out. I'm super Damn. Your thoughts on this one? Oh, that gave me chills? Yeah, man. Damn. Super terrified. I don't know what to do. I didn't see anyone or hear anything until that voice happened, but it just sounded like an echo. So, I don't know. Can I don't know. You guys tell me what you see, but that right there looks like a f***ing face. Yeah, it's distorted. It does look like a face. It does look like a, a person there. Yeah. To me, I don't know. Now, what do you think Taylor caught on camera? Is it real? Or is it just an elaborate <laughs> hoax? You decide. Before we move on to the next video, if you see any anything... Number four. At the window.
CJ from the YouTube channel CJ Longcrow's Vlogs is exploring the abandoned Boom. and allegedly very haunted Crow Creek Reservation High School in Stephen, South Dakota. The school and the land it sits on has a very dark and creepy history. In 1886, the Catholic Church set up a boarding school for Native American children on this land and then basically forced the reservation children to attend. From the day the boarding school opened, the land seemed cursed. Crops and trees planted on the grounds wouldn't grow. Random unexplained fires destroyed many of the buildings. And Dang. the schoolhouse was directly hit and almost wiped out by not one, but two different tornadoes. But each time, the Catholic Church would simply rebuild the boarding school on the same ground. One of the school's darker stories involves a nun named Sister Wilhelmina Kaufman. On January 12th, 1888, during a blizzard, the nun left the school building to go to the laundry house next door. Even though the buildings were very close together, she got lost in the blinding snow and couldn't find her way back to the school. Snap. The next morning, her body was found kneeling in the deep snow. She had frozen to death only 100 feet from the school's door. Bro, I don't like where this is going. We about to get like that huge plot reveal, man. Cut to modern day. People who live near the Crow Creek Reservation High School report seeing many strange and frightening things. It is said that the terrifying apparition uh -oh. of a nun can be seen roaming the grounds. And some claim that they have seen dark shadow figures wandering the school's hallways. Boys. CJ Longcrow happens to have a friend that lives on the Crow Creek Reservation, right next to the allegedly haunted school. So not only was CJ able to explore the abandoned building, but he spent the entire night right beside the creepy school grounds. Bro, let's go, so man. So early in the night, CJ and his friends head out to explore the school. They find some strange graffiti on the walls. And even more bizarre, a floor full of dead birds. Damn. Holy f Bro. Those are dead. Dude, I saw a dead bird the other day on the streets and it just made me sad, bro. Like, that's sad. Man. Birds? But even more alarming are the aggressive living birds and bats that have made their home inside the abandoned school. <laughs> Sound like something moved down there. Here, let's, go, let's do this room first. Bro, this is gonna oh, be oh, bad. Oh, 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 oh that's, that's a bird. That's a owl, bro. Oh, owl? That's a fucking owl. You, I would be freaked out right away, like, man. The higher we got up, like, it seems like that's... <laughs> oh, f Yo, run, 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 run. <laughs> Yo, give me those. <laughs> give me just fly, Yo, fly, we just fly, 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 get fly. by. Just fly, 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 fly. Oh, birds oh, on crack, uh, dog. Stop turning the camera like that. Oh, shit. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> After a few angry bird and bat attacks, the guys decide to finish up their exploration and just exit the school. But the creepy story doesn't end there. Yo, now, damn. as I mentioned before, CJ is sleeping overnight in a house that is right next to the abandoned school building. So late that night, while his friends are sleeping, he decides to take a walk around the haunted school grounds. It didn't go well. Everyone Bro. else is asleep, so... Did not go well? I want to grab my shotgun, but that's far uh, away. Dude, like, it's so creepy out here, because I heard so many f***ing stories, like... Just so many stories of f***ing... Oh like, my god, bro. Oh my god. I just, I just can't. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh, hey, it hey, is pretty hey, f***ing hey, creepy out here, though, you know, I'm not gonna lie. Like, bro, seeing buildings... Seeing buildings... I mean, just look at this building. Seeing buildings oh. like... Oh, was there someone? Bro, 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 bro. CJ run, spots run, run. some shadowy figure walking by the abandoned school's third story window. He freaks out and runs inside to wake up his friend Phil, asking him to join him to go check out the strange shadow. When they reach the third floor window where CJ saw the figure, what they find is truly bizarre. Truly bizarre? Okay, guys. Okay, this nothing is creepy, huh? Nothing. So oh, this is exactly. Guys, exactly. guys, I fired some bullets. I fired some bullets. You see, my, my shots just landed exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm really good. I'm really good. See? Shots landed exactly here. It broke this, the, the, the glass, but no signs of... It's exactly where the f I saw it. Uh-oh. Hold on, let me see inside there. Custodian? Closet? Yeah. Maybe... Uh... Yo, welcome back, ghost. 
Now, even though the shadow that CJ saw seems to appear from one side and walk quickly past the window, there's just nowhere to walk. There's a concrete wall on one side of the window and a tiny empty janitor's closet on the other. Damn. So where did the shape go? Did CJ where? Longcrow see one of the strange shadow apparitions that are said to haunt the Crow Creek High School? You decide. Mm, that's a little creepy though. That's a little creepy. If, if there's no way to go and run, if this just like concrete, that's, I don't know about that one, man. You can check out CJ's full exploration video, Disappearing Act. Number three. Reddit user Edgy Christendom says that he and his girlfriend were exploring an abandoned mental asylum in Baltimore, Maryland. You're hiding in when the comments? This happens. Yeah, I see you, homie. <laughs> Yo, this fucking place is crazy. Yeah, man. I've seen this clip. Oh, moms. Yeah, I've seen this clip before. Like, there's someone that just goes inside. Hey. What? Truly bizarre. Where are you going? I swear I just seen something. Don't start that Either there's someone with them. This can easily be faked out, right? They probably have a person with them and they are just giving the person time. But it can be real too because if you see something like that, you don't want to open the door as fast. Right, because you never know what's out there. So, I mean, this is very hard to say. <laughs> Babe! Yo, what the fuck? Mm. Probably a crackhead. No, <laughs> he turns just in time to catch a dark figure moving through one of the doors. But when he follows, there's no one there. Edgy Christendom doesn't necessarily claim that the video is anything supernatural, and he says that it could have simply been a homeless person living in the building. But if this was a person... Oh, how's your Chinese coming along? It's coming along very good. Like, uh, I've been practicing and my Chinese, uh, what time? How you doing? Uh, I've been practicing, you know? I speak a Chinese, you can speak a Chinese, we can all speak a Chinese. Then where did they go? Fake? Let me know what you think. Fake? Could have jumped, uh, jumped through the yeah, window? Nowhere. Yeah, nowhere. The popular YouTube Urbex channel Exploring with Josh travels to what is rumored to be an abandoned summer camp in the Catskill Mountains of southeastern New York. The remains of the camp are in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by woods. Josh and his friends explore the mysterious site and discover that it was a former religious summer camp for children. Turns out, the religious camp was built in the 1950s and operated for at least 15 years before being abandoned for unknown reasons. <laughs> As Josh and his friends enter one of the decaying buildings on the property, they find a strange surprise. Yo, what? Blair Baxter and Josh's original video? What the hell? This is creepy! Yo! This is a fun. What up, Eric? For real. What the heck? Who did that? Do you think explorers did it or it was just left like this? Either satanic ritual cult people or maybe explorers? I don't know, guy. This is freaking creepy. Look at this. Dude, who really hung all this up? It's kind of cool. I like it. Did someone hang up? Was hang I mean, it is creepy, but it's like... It felt like that this place was abandoned, so at one point this was clean and uh, you know they had all these kids drawing up on the wall, it was all clean and good looking and shit. But now because I feel like it's abandoned, that's why there's a lot of dirt, there's a lot of stuff that's uh, not in the, the right place. And that's why it's making it feel like it's creepy. It is creepy, I agree, but I feel like... Yeah, masks up there. So these are, these are um, obviously people, but that looks like the ring one. The grudge or the ring? Tell me not. <laughs> yeah, on the calendar it says 2001. So unless this place went abandoned in 2001, this is our only trust. Oh, you're sub to this guy, Josh. Sort of, uh, timeline. Dodge man. The Dodge calendar gamer? on the wall Lol. dates all the way back to March 2001. So the camp has likely been abandoned for over 19 years. Josh splits off yeah, from abandoned. his friends who are taking pictures of the abandoned buildings. While exploring alone, he finds a broken down RV. He goes inside to take a look and accidentally captures something chilling. Oh, snap. Hey, hey, hey. I remember watching a video similar to that. That well, freaked me out, bro. There's nothing in here. Oh. The bed in the back. I saw a hand on top of... Maybe yeah. it was his friend. Okay. <laughs> I've seen enough. Did you see it? Yeah. Well, Josh didn't either. 
But soon after he enters the RV, a mysterious small hand can be yeah. seen hitting the skylight. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is what I was saying. This was I saw the head. I was like, uh, hand. I was like, maybe it's his friend or something. Mysterious small hand can be seen hitting the skylight on the roof. Now, Josh didn't notice the unexplained little hand, but when he posted his video to YouTube, his viewers were shocked. Some of them think that this could be the ghost of one of the children that stayed at the camp long ago. But what do you think? Is this a ghost Damn. accidentally caught on camera or simply one of Josh's friends messing around? And if it is one of his friends, they certainly have tiny little hands. Watch your step. Fringe uh -oh. Paranormal Explorer Oz from the YouTube channel Project Activity travels to haunted locations all over France to investigate and record proof of the paranormal. In this episode, he investigates a house that is said to be extremely haunted. The house's owner, who wishes to remain anonymous, says that both of her grandparents passed away inside the home. She claims that after she moved in with her children, she began to experience terrifying paranormal activity on a daily basis. Every night when she would lie asleep in bed, she says that she would be woken up by the chilling sensation of something stroking and caressing her cheek. Even though the nightly event frightened her, she believed that this could be the spirit of one of her grandparents, peacefully watching over her and her children. But then, one night, something happened that changed her mind forever. Just after midnight, as the woman lay sleeping, she was suddenly jolted awake by the feeling of her bed frame violently shaking. The entire bed seemed to levitate off the ground and then seemed to be forcefully thrown a few feet across the room. The woman now no longer believed that this was the peaceful spirit of one of her grandparents haunting the home. She hmm. believed it was something much more dark and sinister something that might wish to harm her and her children. The family moved out of the house the very next day, and the home has remained empty ever since. Paranormal investigator Oz from the YouTube channel Project Activity investigates the mysterious house to figure out just what is haunting the family. In his investigation, he uses some very unconventional tools, one of which is a small piece of paper placed inside a plexiglass box. The idea is that no wind or air currents can move the paper inside the box. I don't know, man. So the only way it can move is by something supernatural. Oz is setting up a second device in the same room, which I'll get back to in a second. But as he prepares, right behind him, this happens. Oh shit! Come on, ça fonctionne. He speaks French. Like I'm French as well, so I speak French. I'm not French, but I speak French. Come on, ça marche. Me, yo, English, English. What's the name of these devices? Did he say I missed or? Non, c'est pas vrai. Uh oh. The piece of paper inside the plexiglass box mysteriously moves on its own. Oz doesn't notice and continues setting up his second, rather unusual device, a theremin. The theremin is sometimes used as a musical instrument, but it can also be used as a sensor. The theremin creates a tone whenever someone comes close to the antenna on top of the device. This is a theremin, an electronic instrument. Uh, I'm in Montreal, so I went to a French school. Sound by waving your hand into an electrical field. So not long after Oz has set up the theremin, something very strange happens. There was a bed, so the bed, so the bed. Uh oh! Need for speed? Fast and Furious 11 for the family? Fast and Furious for 11 for the family? One last ride? Yo, the speaker's going off. Oh, eh, 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 yeah. Bon, très honnêtement, je sais pas pourquoi il s'est déclenché. I don't know why it déclenché. I don't know why it triggered. Slummy, what up? You speak Russian? Damn, man. I didn't know. 
you know, something will jump out. I, 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 feel, I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Did you complete? He said, I understood. Lol. I'll stop it. So, if I'm not mistaken, that's like a sign to stop, right? Sign from the ghost to... Uh, and the ghost is saying, like, don't do that. Otherwise, like, I'm gonna come get you ass. Galactic reaction. Thank for the one. Love you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Bon. Bon. Now, just a bit freaked out, he continues on with his investigation. But it seems that whatever was messing with the theremin isn't done with Oz yet. Et pour l'histoire, donc quand vous pouvez, j'avais pu le constater, c'est une histoire qui est plutôt intéressante. Merde, c'est quoi ça? C'est quoi ça? What was that? C'est la lumière de ma. C'est quoi ça? De ma lampe torche. J'ai l'impression qu'on vient de tirer. Dessus. Ah oh. Torche au sol. Oh no, man, this is me. Oz claims that something pulled on his pocket flashlight and broke the strap, causing the flashlight to fall hard to the floor. But then things get downright chilling. Something happened with the this pocket flashlight? I felt like someone pulled it. It broke the strap, you can see it. The strap is completely broken. Don't complete my pity, he said. Yeah, complete my pity means break. Oh, uh oh. Oh my god, bro. Bro, 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 no, no, no. Eh, 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 eh. A strange whisper can be heard and a door behind Oz slams him in the back. The strap is complete my pity. So the door kind of hits him. Throughout his investigation, Oz has managed to stay relatively calm. But yeah. what happens next even frightens him. Oh shit, oh, this is gonna be good. If it bothers you that I'm in this floor, I'll go downstairs. I will descend. I don't want to do anything stupid. Uh oh. Uh, hey, hey, hey. You chill. What? Il faut pas faire ça, quoi. Ouais, ouais, ouais. He says that he got. <laughs> the ghost hunter gets an unexplained. Yo, that word's funny, man. That word's funny. He says that uh, I got pussy. <laughs> That's very close to the P word in English, but pussy means uh, in French means uh, pushed. You got pushed, right? So I got pussy. You know, it's funny, man. It's funny. And pushed in the back by an invisible force and almost falls down the stairs. Almost falls but down. The woman told him about the dark intentions of the spirit that haunts the home seem to be true. As he has been attacked not once, but twice. Twice! By something he just can't see. Damn. So, is this house haunted by some dangerous malevolent spirit or demon? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Mm. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. <laughs> but click on this video on the screen. We got a massive plot twist. People are getting bumble clad. Click on it and we'll see you right there. Subscribe. Hit the bell.